What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Leo, coming to you guys with yet another video. Coming to you guys today with some potential breaking news as it regards Money in the Bank this weekend. Uh, well, specifically Saturday, because that is when Money in the Bank does take place. And we got to talk about one, Randy Orton. The last time we seen Randy Orton, he was taken out with an injury back in May of 2022. He lost the tag team titles with Riddle. And ever since then, he had to go undergo surgery. It looked like there's been ups and downs throughout it, where it looks like it's, it, um, people were talking about it's a potential that he could be retiring because of the severity of the injury. Uh, the doctors you know, advised him not to return or make a return or anything like that. But that being set aside, it looks like we could be expecting a Randy Orton return as early as Money in the Bank. That is what the rumors are going uh, into Money in the Bank this weekend. And then, and we got to talk about if that does happen, there are some different scenarios that I could do see playing out. One of the scenarios I think this is the more likely, um, he um, definitely makes his return probably during the Matt Riddle and um, Gunther match for the Intercontinental Championship because you do because you have to realize that Randy Orton and Matt Riddle do have history with each other back from their tag team RK Bro. So you definitely think there is a some chemistry there or some unfinished business there. So you could kind of see him potentially come returning to try to help out Matt Riddle, or you could see something afterwards where he to returns and turns on Riddle, lead into a match between the two. But what I feel like is more likely, since we know Randy, Randy is the type of guy like he he just likes to turn on people and everything like that. And I and I and, and I don't have a problem with it. But I think if they were to do that, I think they should do something new and fresh. Um, I think Randy Orton is the type of person you could bring back at any pay per view, and he would automatically get a pop just because he's Randy. That's that's just how it is. And I do think he would definitely get a pop if he were to come back in the bank because I think the London Crown do love him so. I do think that would be a, a cool way to um, bring him back or reintroduce him into the fold of things as far as uh, WWE wise and getting back into storylines and feuds and stuff like that. We could see him potentially return. And um, here's another scenario. I, I was going to say two, but there's three. This is another one that seems likely. He could return and, and help Matt Riddle. Not Matt Riddle, but he could return and help Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes has a match with Dominic Mysterio, and it looks like Dominic and Rhea have been getting the upper hand on Cody, leading into this feud. And honestly, I I think this is gonna be another one that makes sense because you go back to the, a couple years ago, they like Randy and um Cody, they were in a faction together called Legacy. There it was him, Cody Rhodes, and um Ted DiBiase Jr. All three of them were in Legacy together. So this is another scenario that would make sense. He returns to help um help um Cody with oh, getting a win over Dominic and it could be a situation where we get a feud out of this because you know this one also makes sense and we could get that going in the SummerSlam and the last one I, it, it could possibly happen but I don't know if they were actually go through with it he returns during the the, the Bloodline Saga match the Bloodline Civil War between um Roman and Solo versus the Usos he could return there and kind of screw over Roman and Solo because he does have beef with them too. Or or he could return and, and, and cost the Usos. There's different scenarios that, that could play out with him returning. Which one I think would seem more likely him and Matt Riddle seem the more likely for me because I think that one would kind of make the most sense. But all of these I feel like would make sense in some way or another. So I, if any one of these scenarios were to play out at Money in the Bank, I would not be upset at all. And I think if they were to have him come back, I think him and Matt Riddle should face at SummerSlam. I think Matt Riddle should be the heel and Randy Orton should be the face. Switch it up a little bit. And I do think they've definitely been going in that that direction. Because it, it seems like with Matt Riddle, he's been going through like a little bit of a gimmick to change. Because he's been not... He was still a babyface, of course. But he's been more... Has more of an edge to him. He's not taking anybody's crap anymore he he literally almost snapped somebody's leg like a twig a couple like last week on raw so it just shows that he's being a little bit more ruthless and i don't know if that's something to do with randy orton having a little influence on him we don't know but it's a possibility but i think any of these scenarios i feel like they could end up happening and i would not be mad roman versus um randy at SummerSlam wouldn't be mad at 
um, Randy versus Cody at SummerSlam wouldn't be mad at. Matt Riddle versus uh, Randy at SummerSlam would not be mad at. But comment down below. Let me know. How do you guys feel about a potential return from Randy Orton? Which match do you think he will, if he was to make a return like during a match or after a match, which match do you think it will be? If on all these, you know, scenarios that I, I talked about, which one you feel like is more likely to happen? Which one do you want to happen? Which one do you want to see happen? Um, leave it all down in the comment section down below. Make sure you hit that like button because it definitely helps out my algorithm so more people can see what I'm doing here on YouTube. It gets more eyes on the channel. It helps out my algorithm, the whole nine yards. Hit that post notification bell so you never stop posting a new video, whether it be a reaction video, rant video, live stream, any type of video. You could be in the loop of things when uh, a video is about to drop. Also, hit the subscribe button. It's completely free. There's no catch or anything like that. It definitely helps out as well because we're on the road to six hundred subscribers that's our next milestone we're at 590 right now so we're 10 subscribers away so if you guys are new you love wrestling you love horror you love gaming you love all three please subscribe to the channel this is the channel for you this is the channel that you want to be at but with all that being said i appreciate you guys kicking with me and i'll see you guys in the next video